welcome back. You thought you'd gotten rid of us, but no. We have one last level of Crash Bandicoot for the fans. You thought We're it never was over. going away. We are eternal. <laughs> there is no escape. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is a particularly hard level. That Notoriously I've, difficult level. I have attempted and it broke me. Um, but I'm going to finish it today. On camera. <laughs> Got the new cameras. So we can see all, oh, we can see all, all the, the pain English, and despair the on his face. And despair coming to you in high definition. It's going to be great. It's going to be so great. <laughs> what I think is actually going to happen is the pain and despair is only going to show when Jacob goes on like his crazy rants. So I think yes. I think Jonathan's so used to dying in the game, he doesn't really care anymore. Oh, death is <laughs> far from my concerns. <laughs> Half the time, I'm just thinking about the rambles. Oh, the rambles. Have you seen that Post Malone ad for the Call of Duty games? <laughs> <laughs> like I said. Oh, don't they tell, keep on tell. like making jokes about like helicopters. Like that isn't Getting relevant there. to anything. I just wanted to <laughs> no, bring it up. No, it isn't. But thank you for acknowledging that it's... It's like... I like how musicians nowadays, like if they sell out, it's just funny. Like people don't even like care yeah. anymore. In like the 80s, even like the 70s, there was like a sort of an ethos behind it. Like, you know, you, you want to have a certain level of credibility. Not necessarily credibility, but there's like an anti-establishment vibe to all of musicians. Yeah, yeah, I was watching the History of the Eagles on Netflix. Yeah. And were, but like, it, it's hard to imagine a time when the Eagles were conflicted about <laughs> selling out. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't. Maybe I wasn't really following enough of the... I don't know, the history of selling out. Oh, Don Henley was just like talking about it was like. We do enjoy a good selling out story. I think I, I think mean... Kiss just took it to like a certain level when, like, no one could outdo them, and then it became normalized. Well, Metallica tried. <laughs> Metallica <laughs> no, definitely no, well, tried. Well, no, they. I think they've surpassed. I think they've surpassed Kiss in selling out terms because at least Kiss was upfront about it. Yeah. Like Metallica they've... still has like this type of vibe to them where they're like, fuck the system, you know, blah, 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 that type of shit. Because when Kiss were selling out, they were doing it as consistently and as part of a brand. Yeah, you, know? you can't hate Kiss for selling out. Oh, no, you can, they definitely never... can. You definitely can. <laughs> and let's not, let's not oh, make any mistakes about this. But the Kiss credit card and the Kiss coffin, you know. <laughs> not exactly... <laughs> Oh, you know, the that. Kiss Coffin got reissued for, uh, due to public demand for them. Oh my god. They stopped selling them for a while because, you know, funeral homes had standards. But <laughs> this is actually a fascinating story about, like, Dime D Bag Darrell was buried in one of those. I see. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? He was, uh, yeah, he was a big Kiss. Yeah, uh, it's, it's hard to imagine, like, they stopped making the Kiss casket for a while because questions of good taste were mentioned in reference to the item but then oh damn that oh, is after rough. a certain point like they reissued the kiss casket because they were selling so many of them i got this do you 98 <laughs> 98 lives ago oh i was like there, there was actually a point where they stopped selling them it was like but now they're I, I'm, I'm gonna look up right now if I can buy a <laughs> Jacob's actually doing yeah, fact checking. To the bottom of the big questions. <laughs> yeah, those are the real questions. We can we can rant about capitalism for like 20 episodes and not fact check anything. Yeah, but this <laughs> this is this real is shit. <laughs> this is real shit. I wonder if like kiss caskets have like the curse. You know, if they're cursed like King to uh, King to Carmen's. What type of curse would it be though? Yeah. Or like a like a copy. Oh, like, like the second generation kiss casket includes cremation urns, bronze oh memorials, for, memorial prayer cards, registry books, memorial candles, and pet cremation urns. All designed after the famous rock band's iconic images. Uh, amazing. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to to go. <laughs> I really missed out by. Not burying my cat's ashes in a kiss cremation urn. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> just... Jonathan's could be buried in a kiss casket. So... No, no, I've just been thrown out of my rhythm. It's just, it's hard to get back. What, what Jacob? What curse would like? Because you know how King Tutankhamun's, uh, you know, there was a curse from his tomb. 
If from a kiss Costco, what would the uh, what would the curse be? I think like the god of thunder would smite you. That's what's happening with the kiss casket. God of thunder. <laughs> da, da, da. That's actually one of their best songs. Yeah, it is actually. I it's mean, not too bad. Yeah. And you know, it has has it has a riff. It has a good riff. It's it's a shame it didn't make it into Thor, Thor Ragnarok actually, because you know, immigrant songs great. But... It's such a cliche though. I mean, they use it in like every movie. That's the thing. God, and Th- God of Thunder was just like under. It's just on the. They nose. might be saving yeah. that for another Thor sequel. Keep in mind. Mm. <laughs> See, that's what people are missing out on. Just the, just the all the pain on Jonathan's face, yeah. the anguish and the angst, the agony oh and the God. ecstasy. No, well, you had you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. get it together, man. Let's, maybe we should talk about something else other than Kiss. Maybe that's what's bringing you down. Ah, oh, it's just... This level is diabolical. <laughs> <laughs> that was our longest episode. I think... I remember our, one of our episodes was 20 minutes. And yeah. It was on this level. Or like a version of this. Yeah, it was the, the predecessor to this. Yeah. Monstrosity <laughs> of a level. Alright, this is it. Oh! Oh, Danny did it. I'm not, I'm not messing around. Oh, yeah, you're not playing any games there. Well, I am playing. Well, a yeah, game. you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um, maybe we should talk about what we're going to do next with the channel while Jonathan is oh, dying we're, horribly. We're, uh, oh. Clearly, there's going to be more face cam. <laughs> More face cam. Well, depending if people like to face cam, maybe if people are just repulsed by yeah. our, our white faces, <laughs> incredibly pasty ass. I can color grade it. It'll be fine. No, you, you're gonna have to perform some serious magic. You're gonna have to put that um, that uh, that degree to some use. Some black magic resolve. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I'll Nobody gets out. your <laughs> camera. <laughs> probably <technology won't>. jokes. <laughs> now you can't edit the audio like the way you used to. Oh, because it will have to match up with our yeah our dumb faces. So, so unfortunately, we have to be more on point <laughs> than we have ever been before. Okay, this no! is... <laughs> okay, this is this is troublesome. <laughs> maybe we should just go. I back can't to stitch Jacob's rants together. Unfortunately. Okay, maybe we need to uh... reevaluate. Yeah, but... <laughs> I don't like this new direction that Jacob's going. <laughs> It used to be about the rants, man. Yeah. Now it's like we. Well, I no, guess we can start. Like a gerb. Oh my god. What? What happened? What happened there? You just... <laughs> it just kept going. I was just like, <laughs> no, it's gonna go up at some point. Uh, yeah. What I was gonna say is, um, yeah. What direction should we take with the channel? Mm. We've uh, now that we have a face cam and. Uh... Um. Well, I'm gonna be. Sweating profusely if we keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Crash. We no! can, oh my god. We can give it like a bad title too, like I don't know, Man Loses Soul while <laughs> yeah. playing Stormy Ascent. We can uh... Crash Bandicoot has become Dark Souls Part yeah. five. Nineties Dark Souls Part One. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. I was gonna say, I'm like, people people complain that games are too easy nowadays. Yeah. But then when you actually give people a hard game, then they realize how fucking annoying it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like World of Warcraft. Yeah. Because I think because what they did is they just released the servers for like the world. Oh. I can see the checkpoint. I can <laughs> you see can see it's taunting you. It's just in the corner, just out of sight. Oh. Come on. Uh, yeah. What I was gonna say is um. They've released like a server dedicated to the original version of WoW, not like how it is now. Right. So, but my theory was people are gonna play and they're gonna realize how annoying it was to play because it was similar. It was a lot more difficult then. Yeah. There, there are a lot of and from like, not difficult in the good sense, but like difficult in the pointless. Like, why is this a thing? Yeah. Way? Like, like before, you... why would you do it that way? It's so yeah, exactly because now it tells you where quests are. Like, right. on the map, it tells you where to go to complete a quest. Yeah. Before, you actually had to find it. Yeah, you had to just walk around. And it's not even like... Yeah, but the OG fans are like, no, it's 
I mean, there are elements of what yeah. Warcraft that was better, but like elements like that are just pointless and annoying, yeah. and no one wants to go back to it. But, but I think people just have like rose tinted memories of when they were like sixteen or something playing a game. Wow, okay. Uh, everything is good. Everything is fine. Uh huh. Well, even if you fall, you st it's like a landing point, though. Nah, you'll get shredded. Oh, yeah. that's true. <laughs> it's, it's heinous. Everything about this. Is <laughs> everything, everything about this is designed to ruin you mentally. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Nothing above it. No. All right, so I got the box. Why are you going down, by the way? This is like, I thought it was supposed to be stormy ascent. No, they, they build you up. Yeah. And they bring you down. Is this is this raw deal part two? We should explain that reference because I don't think anyone gets what we're talking about with yeah, the Raw Deal stuff. You should, uh... I still haven't seen Raw Deal. You don't uh, Jonathan to. came over to my house like 10 years ago or something. We, 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 we got this... Um, I didn't know if we rented it or if Jonathan... No, I, I, I remember buying it. Yeah, Jonathan being... bought Raw Deal with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> and it, was, it was terrible. It wasn't terrible. It, like, was, it was just so middle of the yeah, road. Yeah, it was really middle of the road. And forgettable. But the, the, the most... The, the biggest betrayal was the fact that Arnold doesn't really receive any type of... He's like, he's not part of any deal. Yeah. And the deal that he may be a part of is not exactly raw. Yeah. Or like, you know, it's, it's not like he's on the wrong end of a deal in any way. Oh, I can see the <laughs> Oh, he takes you all the way back here. That's right. That's right. That's why I, I think you ought to get in the raw so deal. So much <laughs> Not Arnold <laughs> It's so much better with video. It's so much, so much better with video. That's right. I'm glad people can see it. So Head much strong to take on for your, buck, for your time. The thumbnails will be strong with this one. Yeah, you got to put a bunch of clickbaity thumbnails <laughs> click and jump in like poses like. <laughs> with um, what's that backdrop thing that? people do where it's like an extension what, what about uh, what do they call it jacob the fucking the soy face or whatever it is do you know, do you know about that <laughs> what <laughs> yeah 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 apparently this this is the, like i know what the soy face is even though i disagree entirely you know it is it's, compl it's completely stupid the fact that people believe this but apparently the soy face it's guys with like neck beards doing this into the camera like you know like the thumbnail them with like right. with an open mouth and i don't understand what this has to do with any consumption that, i mean it's a fucking bean yeah. that's what it is so so it is i don't know why these people are so afraid of a bean but anyway apparently if you have too much of it you uh i don't know oh, apparently will wheaton is like the poster boy of this okay. the hitbox <laughs> This, this, this one's really getting you. I'm blaming the game. I'm already, I've, I've already oh, yeah, started you, blaming the game. Yeah, you've, you're I a... think it's the, the thing about the soy face is like men showing excitement in a certain way threatens people's masculinity. Yeah, I, I really do. I don't understand it. It's, I, mean, I think it's... the problem is people think that like it, it's like the man version of a fangirl expression. I think that's the key. I don't understand element. what it is, but there's like there's like a picture that they made with like you know like compilation of like twenty different guys doing this face, with the I don't understand anyway. So that's where we, that's where we're going to make our thumbnail just to troll people. I think. You know what my master plan for this channel is is like I I used to hate video games because I wasn't good at them, but if yeah. I can like struggle through this channel getting good at video games i can just like destroy the gatekeeping of this medium and just get rid of all the gatekeeping bullshit of the gaming you know, industry uh, that's that's a very lofty goal i, mean, I don't think so, you're gonna succeed it's a good idea <laughs> mainly to play the games yeah that's the thing i mean you're not playing though jonathan's the one who's playing oh the games. you haven't seen how far i've gotten in jurassic world evolution so yeah he's, he's been going yeah, he's, around. He, but is that a I, 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 like, mum found me on the couch in the morning at like six o'clock, still playing that game because this is the rock and roll lifestyle that this channel is <laughs> I was going to work and I found Jacob still there <laughs> glued to the screen. I'm like, You got a problem, uh, man? You going to bed? <laughs> and he's like, mm. 
Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm, I was just hooked on that Jurassic World. I mean, you put me in a Jurassic Park game, I'll play it. Yeah, I think uh, it spoke to more than one of your interests. Theme parks and dinosaurs and management of a theme park. So, like, they had you. They had you right away. And then I just, like, completely act completely unethical. Because to, you see, to, be, to beat the billionaire... Like, <laughs> like the yeah. Bezos is in the We haven't Musk. we haven't ranted about any billionaires. I mean, we did have we did go after Musk a bit, but but to be, the, to beat the billionaire, you must become the billionaire. And that's what <laughs> Jurassic World Evolution is about. <laughs> Can we get through an episode without a rant about Elon Musk? No, no, no we not, can't. He, he, I mean, if he doesn't want us to rant about it, he he needs to stop tweeting. Like, yeah. if he stops tweeting, then we don't have any material. But yeah. he, he's ruining Fair people's enough. life savings with his tweets. <laughs> like, his shares are just dropping off the face of the earth while he's fucking on Twitter and just uh, complaining about the SEC. How the hell is my Twitter feed more professional than musky boys? Yeah, that's... Uh, These uh, are all good questions. <laughs> it's a good question, yes. Is it because I have far less followers and I'm beholden to no one? Yes. Probably. That, probably. that helps you a lot. Yes. The lack but of most accountability. Of, most, your Twitter feed is mostly you just liking pictures of cats. That's that a, is a big reason that's a, that's why... A good, that is a good portion of your Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the cat pictures. That's really what people crave. To, to be honest, is that it? Like, I have absolutely no issue with that, and it's actually the better part of Twitter, I think, <laughs> as opposed to all the other crap you see on there. Like, somebody's gonna spread the cat pictures. Hmm. <laughs> and it's like, there was this, there was this vine that somebody's somebody made of, so, of so a much. cat on a pole, and somebody said it to, she works hard for the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so hard for it, Well, you just love a good music reference combined with your mutual it, interest. Look, it, it, was a, it was a funny video. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give him credit on that. I'll, I'll back him up there. It was, I mean, you can't really go wrong with the cat video, but that one was pretty good. That, that, that was a, an innovative cat video, if ever I saw one. Now I'm a connoisseur is that the of most, cat Is videos. that the most, like, uh, how should I put it? Have those videos managed to stand the test of time? Cat videos? Damn it, damn I mean, every other internet meme genre generally dies down after a pretty... After a pretty short life. Now time. there's like bongo cat and some things like that. Yeah, like the keyboard kit is still good. I mean, th that one's still funny. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jonathan's <laughs> just sweating bullets. Yeah. I mean, Dave, oh, Dave Mustaine's gonna have to write a song about you soon. No one got that reference? I'm just concentrating. I can't. You, you didn't get the sweating bullets reference? Okay. My hands are sweaty. Yeah. Knees sweaty. Sixty-nine, dudes. That's not. Good. What? What is that? What's? what's Bill this? and Ted's excellent adventure. Yeah, no, I get that, but oh, there's sixty-nine lives. That was the. Oh right, right, right. I didn't say that. Sorry. Sorry. Look, the people at home saw it. Yeah, oh, no, I haven't been paying attention. The people I'm at home. <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you refer to the people. At... Who are these? Because you've got a face cam now. Who are these sad people watching our videos? Hey, let's not alienate our audience, all right? We need them more than ever. We need to have an audience before We're we can alienate this them. them. This is why I'm reliving the horror that is this nightmare of a level. And you need to life farm like nobody's business to even have a crack. It's fucking ruthless. <laughs> How much time did you spend life farming for this? Uh, not long. There's a level... Um, a little, bit, a little bit down the way. You're supposed to play it up and like go on about how hard, how hard it was. That's, well, that's what we're about here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, you calling me out? All right, deep breaths, dude. Deep breaths. Yeah, I'm just working through my issues. <laughs> Is there anything else that's on your, on your mind? Anything else you need to get off your chest? 
and I've done I've done so much VO work mm -hmm. in the last two weeks. Yeah. That my voice is fairly hoarse. So didn't uh didn't put out a video last weekend. Yeah. Just decided to hold off for a bit. Um one came out. Well today. you 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 basically worked to the point of being sick. Yeah. But no. Oh wait, it's I not... shouldn't say it because they're going to be watching this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can edit that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't put that in. <laughs> Let's cover that up with another one of my rants. Yeah. I'm sure it'll uh, it'll be fine. Now, Josh, uh -huh. we were going to address the fact no that you have the same birthday as Jeffrey Dahmer. Sorry, I have, I have the same birth, birthday as Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Yes, you oh, do. Man. Remember that? Yes, that was brought up on the last episode. And it was. And it's a... like, Jeffrey Dahmer? I loved it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jake, when I edit something <laughs> Jonathan out, edited it then, out, and then Jacob was... <laughs> you can't just decide, you know what? It got edited out, and I liked it, and you're gonna... <laughs> it's a quality Demolition quality. Man reference, and you trampled over my dreams. I'm gonna edit on it. I'm gonna edit it out again. <laughs> no! Because <laughs> that was just... See, that's... See, Jonathan's ruthless with his editing, right? Because in one of the episodes, I made a joke about <laughs> R. Kelly, and... It was possibly too racy. Yeah. And after I said it, I said, can you edit that out? Like, I was kind of laughing. And no, that was kept in, right? <laughs> then, a few episodes later, I tried to justify what I was saying about the R. Kelly joke. And then Jonathan edited that out. So... It was dead air. <laughs> There's no, nothing to that arc. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, my reputation's on the line here, okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. Nick that he's gonna edit all of this out. Yeah. <laughs> you betcha. Fucking When I'm sixty four. Well sorry sorry for trying to justify myself justify myself now. <laughs> 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 Comparing <laughs> him to his, one of history's greatest monsters. One of history's fattest monsters. <laughs> He's not that fat. You can't fat shame dictators. <laughs> yes, I can because he's dead and he's bad. <laughs> he's dead and he's bad. All right. Actually, speaking of uh, greatest monsters, the I was reading about um, the first emperor of China, uh, Qin Shi Huang, and his his tomb. I'm, I'm going to bring this back to back to oh, right. Right. Yeah, his tomb is. Uh, like, like the um, Ch Chinese archaeologists um, don't have this, well, they feel they don't have the correct technology to dig them up. And I was thinking, man, if uh, if they or they're worried that if they did uh, did dig it up, then they would damage some of it. And it also has mercury in there. Oh yeah, I read about this. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Like, I've like, done the whole alchemical spiritual thing. You don't need to like cover yourself with mercury. It's like a spiritual thing. Well, he you meditate. To, and he shit. actually uh, ingested mercury, and that's the reason why he died. Like because he thought it would make him a model. But yeah. Uh, but what I was gonna say was uh, now if this was in Egypt mm. and we had our boy Zahi there, Zahi yeah. or us, he wouldn't care about. <laughs> no, that. he would not care at all, and yeah. they would. Uh, they they cracked that boy open. <laughs> they would have they rocked that bad boy. <laughs> Zahi would drown in mercury. So he, he would do it, if it, meant, if it meant like discovering the secrets of, of the first emperor of China. I think he's only concerned about Egyptian terms, to be honest. Yeah, I know, but they, it's the Zahi mentality I'm talking about. Oh, right. Not necessarily Zahi himself. The Zahi mindset. Yeah. That, that, dude, is, uh, uh, that dude is headstrong. That's what I'll say. Actually, I did more reading about Zahi he was. He's actually like, apparently he's actually, because the thing is, we all we really do on these episodes is kind of make him as like a punchline for this, you know, sort of kind of don't give a fuck archaeologist. But he is a respected Egyptologist. Like, he knows what he's doing, but um, he's... Sometimes he just cracks open... Well, that's a the tomb thing, like yeah, a bowl well, of wine. He's first like really eager and be like... He basically controls everything. Like, I didn't know about that. He controls every archaeological find. Well, he used to, anyway, uh, when he was the minister of archaeology there. So, but, like, pe people... Um, he was super controversial. Like, they called him the um, 
the Mubarak of uh, of archaeology. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like it was like serious because I I didn't really know that much. I thought because Jacob just showed me a video, I'm just like, oh, this is kind of crazy, you know, guy. But no, he's really legitimately controversial. Meanwhile, Jonathan is uh, <laughs> he's getting. I've got to figure this out. Getting torn apart by this level, like Zahir was tears apart tombs. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, but Zahir Uwais went, for, went to jail for a year because of corruption charges. Like, He's been in jail. He ain't afraid But of the no thing worry. is, uh, like the museums or like tourism suffered after he left. Like, oh shit. Like, <sighs> yeah, it suffered after he left. So he says that... Um, so basically it was like the necessary evil, I guess. I don't know. I need to do more reading on Zahir. Plus, yeah. it's like, when, when in terms of like, evils, hmm. in terms of jails, <laughs> Egyptian <laughs> jail is so much more hardcore than regular white people jail. <laughs> Just, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but, there's a better way to phrase that. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just it's quite interesting. I didn't. Yeah, because Jacob, we kind of, I mean, we brought him up previously on the podcast as this kind of like, you know, kind of punchline guy, but just. just be heinous. How are you gonna? What is even this setup here? Right. Are you gonna try and get all the pages? Yeah. Oh damn it! Oh no! No. I will. I'm gonna beat this level, <laughs> and I'm gonna get the gem, and it's gonna be great. And I'll just be like. <laughs> Naughty Dog left this out. They thought it was too hard. <laughs> they were correct. Who, who is this? Uh, the the original creators of the game. They oh, left it out. Right, because they thought people would just rage. <laughs> they were just like, <laughs> we've, gone, we've gone too far. <laughs> I think they were right. Because, look, I am by no stretch good at video games. Yeah. But I, I, think you, I think you've played enough of this to the point where you're actually, you know... Competent at it. I'm all right. Yeah, I understand what I'm dealing with. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, it's a struggle. <laughs> okay, okay, you won't be able to get this. It's a lot of it has to do with um, just getting through this wall here. I think. I can, uh, I can feel my. my uh, yeah, horse I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. Getting so horse. Watching you, dude. Okay, how are you gonna get across? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Josh. All right. I think it's over. Yeah, I think it's. Uh... No, I gotta, I gotta get on top and then create a path. That's what she point. said. Is that? I don't think <laughs> that was a of all the of all the possibilities you could or all like the times you could have used that one. I think that was probably yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, you, you know, I can edit things out. Yeah, and I will use that. <laughs> I'll use that right. Yeah, you will. Why not you? Jamming down with the edit stage. Yeah, fucking jamming now over here. A great leap forward in podcasting. Yeah. Meanwhile, millions starved to death. <laughs> so many voices silenced <laughs> because of my... Oh, so many rants. You're basically just as bad. So. Welcome to the <laughs> rant field, motherfucker. That's <laughs> so inappropriate. <laughs> yes, it is. Many people died. And you're comparing me to this person who committed such atrocities well i mean it's not the worst thing we've said on this podcast <laughs> it's true we've said some more questionable things yeah, what is this rube goldberg bonus level here the, the timing on that is brutal mm. Almost walked yeah, you edge. almost walked the edge. That, that would have been a good... That would have... 
Because that's what that's what people need to see. It's just that moment when you're just broken. <laughs> you just, You've seen it so many times. I've seen it, but the people haven't. Like the, the people watching have. Well, give it back to the people. What about what, you, what about doing movie reactions? So I think that's a good like. I think we have. Yeah, that'd be a st- potential format for us. What do you think, Jacob? Reacting to the Bruce lies. Oh, D- dude, man. we got. I have. There are so many good movies we could watch. I have like. I've got so many of those. Those Bruce like, Lai classics. Like, I need to see Bruce Lai strikes back from the grave or whatever. No, no, the thing is, that's Jacob, that's the thing with these movies. They don't actually call they don't actually admit that it's about like this <sighs> Bruce Lies in it. They call it Bruce Lee Fights Back from the Grave. But it stars Bruce Lai, right? So there's no you know, you know you know what I'm saying? Like they they did their best to hide the fact that Bruce Lee's not in it. And that's the key element of the genre. <laughs> it's this complete denial that, that, that Bruce Lee even died. <laughs> it's like it's basically the equivalent of that you know that, that pro wrestling fan that's like crying and like, it's still real to me, damn it. It's basically that's an entire genre. It would be, it would be like if like there was a subgenre of movies about like Paul Walker exploitation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's people exactly were constantly what it is. denying that Paul Walker they, died. It's like, yeah, it's 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 like a combination of denial and like the most shameless grift you've ever seen. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's something about it that's so like I don't know distasteful. <laughs> yeah, it's they just do not care at all that it's like they know that it's because yes. like when you when you uh, like one of the greatest grifters of all. If, um, of, of Hong Kong cinema is um this uh oh, what's his name uh, Godfrey Ho. This guy was like the greatest grifter of all because he would take unfinished films and then com- like because they were cheap and then he would like he would combine them with ninja movies. So he would just take like anything. He would just take anything like it could be like a crime movie, and he would turn it into a movie about ninjas by cutting them together. I'm pretty sure all of his movies were crimes. And the thing was, people knew how much he sucked. Like, as it not sucked, like he was clever at doing it, but like people knew his movies were terrible, so he used aliases. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he would call himself something else. Like Vincent Dorn. Yeah, something. he had like 10 aliases that he would direct from film movies under. But yeah, there's like interviews with him. And he like was so pragmatic about it. He's just like, oh, I just, I don't really care about making good movies. I'm just there to make money. Like it wasn't, you know, like he wasn't playing it up at all. He's so upfront about it. He's like, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what this is. Oh, oh dang! Can you? Is there even a way of finishing it from here? I got rid of the life. I could have used that life. Yeah. But yeah, we can watch some some of Godfrey Ho's movies because they are literally some of the worst movies you'll ever see. Like they just, they they I don't know they they some of them are so bad that oh damn you can play this while I was talking about Godfrey Ho. <laughs> oh shit, you did it! Do you have to get all the peaches to complete the level? Uh, you have to you have to get all the boxes to get the the gem. I've never got the gem. I want the gem. Want no gem. gems. 68. <laughs> <laughs> but you died, though. You might not get the gem. What about that? Oh, wait. Maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's great that this is a caption on film. I think this is the element that we were missing in the previous episode. Complete despair. Yeah. Psychological horror of this relentless... Barrage. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be heinous. It's gonna be the worst. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, you gotta, you gotta wait. I think you gotta time it. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Are you gonna be, turn into one of those obnoxious dudes that's like? Oh, you've been through childbirth? I've played this loud. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? That's a big assumption to make. Big assumptions got us where we are with this channel. Yeah, like the assumption people would watch us. Yes. 
Oh, I have to keep jumping. I have to keep oh, jumping. dang! Oh. That was fucking gangster, actually. Gotta give him credit on that. The grand. Oh. Wow. Alright. Let's, let's not jinx him. Just so wow. So that very was, quiet. That was tense. No, that was, that was a tense moment. Now, we, is it, Jake, we gotta get Jonathan to the point where he's like... Actually, no, I won't say that. <laughs> well, you, you know how there's... You know how uh, PewDiePie dropped the N-word? Like... Oh I'm not saying Jonathan's gonna a do that. A heated gaming moment. Yeah, he, yeah that's mean. what he said. That was his excuse. It's like, we need to have... We need Jonathan's heating gaming <laughs> game moment. I'm not saying he's gonna drop an N-word. I know he's not gonna do that, but... Yeah. I, uh, I value my YouTube career. <laughs> well, and I, also, it's... Bad. Yeah, I like that. I don't think I've ever seen Jonathan really get that angry to the point. Of... I'm a pretty level-headed dude. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I mean, Jonathan has this like repressed anger with him. He doesn't have the out and like sort of. Com <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like repressing his anger like a British person from he, 1940. Yeah, it kind of comes out, That's but it's very like... specific, Jake. But okay. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what British man from 1940 did to you, but. <laughs> I was like, have you ever seen the movie Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, where it's like British people just like grit their teeth and bear with the torture they're being subjected to in the camps? Can't, can't say I've seen that one. It's got David Bowie in it. Okay. It's actually a highly regarded film. Oh, right. Okay. I've not seen it. <laughs> You're getting pretty close to all those key to game of moments. Right, what was this about... Jake, you you follow this stuff. <laughs> what was this about uh, that guy Boogie saying like uh, there was like positive moments of the Holocaust? He was uh, he he said something along the lines of like he claimed that they used the data that Nazis used from the Holocaust for science. Isn't that like an actual huge historical inaccuracy? Like, yeah, because like they like, actually they apparently. Sam Harris said the same thing. I remember someone debunked him on that. Like, it's actually not true at all. Apparently, it was like they they repeated different experiments under much more ethical circumstances to make sure that none of the Nazi data would have to be used ever. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then it was like... I remember people just kept reposting what he said and like, this is your brain on centrism. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I watched the footage of what he was claiming, and I was like, because yeah. Jonathan rouses on me for not fact-checking things, I'm not going to talk about something before I fully assess what happened. Oh. Right, okay. Yeah. I don't know, but I think... It, it, it was really bad, <laughs> what he said, <laughs> yeah, from okay. what I saw. Like, yikes! <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay. We, we, gotta, we avoid that on spectacularly average. <laughs> yeah, the only thing we want to be... Yikes! About is like I I, I write cyber gothic horror novels about a guy related to war criminals for a living, and even I was like, yikes! <laughs> like when oh itchy God. grandson oh. of the SS is somehow <laughs> less offensive <laughs> than that. <laughs> this this is glorious. I'm just. <laughs> Maybe maybe we should just maybe we like Jonathan should just cut out all the talking from this and just include like the moment of him dying and like yeah. the pain on his face. Like he scrunches up his face like Coyote Peterson. That's maybe yeah, what exactly. that's what he's doing. He's yeah. doing a Coyote Peterson yeah. to avoid saying improper words. It's it, yeah, Jonathan is doing a good job of like, you know, not cursing or anything. Got to keep it PG for the views. True that. Though, yeah, I've, I've sworn on it on this. I, I wasn't really clear if we were supposed to, like, keep that under control or not, so... No, no I, I, I swore a little bit last episode. Yeah. Snuck in there. I went through a huge... I went through a big phase, like, when I was 18, of just, like, swearing all the time. Yeah. You just went all out. Yeah, it was... Like... I was into... I don't know I was into edgy comedy at that point, and then, yeah. like, you realize later it's kind of, like... It's kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> no, just as well, just when we said it, uh, you were avoiding swearing. 
<laughs> Those are the best ones when you just get frustrated and you try and like run through them. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. 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 How? How am I? What? <laughs> so uh, it's just a string of failure. You've died 50 times. Oh, it's so good. See, I thought this was going to be a short, like, episode where we just kind of talk about what we want, where we want to go with the channel. No, dude, but we've yeah. just gone back to the spectacular average classic. How am I this? <laughs> Maybe just stay on that like thing for a bit of time. Yeah, I just gotta stay on the edge and like ride it out. Cause you're one step closer to the edge, and you're about to break <laughs> everything yes. you say to me. <laughs> Every, yeah, everything Jacob rants about is taking Jonathan one step closer to the edge, oh. and he's about to break. Uh, this is brutal. <laughs> yeah, this is fucked up, man. Wow. I don't know about you, Jacob, but I'm enjoying this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This is a great reaction. And all on camera. <laughs> if only I had. You even uh, caught me on camera? Was it me? <laughs> um, I remember when I bought these cameras. Initially, I was supposed to have two cameras so I could have like one close up and one yeah. like that far away. Yeah. And. Well, I, I, I'm just picturing what it would be like if we just had these crash zooms for particularly frustrating sections. Oh, you gotta zoom in. You gotta zoom in, dude. Yeah. Oh shit! You almost got it. I think I might have to sacrifice a little bit of myself just to get through that part. Glorious. It's just glorious. I hope, I hope everyone watching this is just... We're making YouTube thing. history. Yeah. I don't know if we're making YouTube history. We're making history for us. This is... And that's what's really important, yeah. isn't it? I am finishing a part of my past that I... It's taunted me. I'm, I'm shedding lives like nobody's business. Oh... You're shedding lives like Kavanaugh is shedding why tears. Why can't we just watch Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> why? why? That, can you get up to the thing from there? No, you don't. You, you, yeah, it just gives you the false hope that you can yeah. get back. Right. Oh my god. You, you got it. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> That was great. I hope you caught that. Uh, no, what, what I was missing there was that it made you... Like, I was hoping that it would take him back to an earlier point. Like, you'd have to start from an earlier spawn point. <laughs> oh my God. The 39 steps. Yeah. Tell me about it. Dude, this is way harder than any of the training exercises in the 36 chamber Shaolin. <laughs> <laughs> this is way more brutal. I think the Wu Tang's about to make a rap song, a rap album about this. Wu Tang Sword Style. That's one of my favorite. That was one of my favorite grifts. Is um, <laughs> is I mean it's not a grift, but I, I, I like I understand what they were doing, and they did actually some good things. But for people that don't know, the Wu Tang would like uh, they took a bunch of old kung fu movies and re-released them, like on DVD. As some of which had not been released, but the thing was, they like shoe on themselves onto the cover and then like onto the um, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, they put yeah. like little clips of them, yeah, like before the movie would start. I was watching um, Mystery of Chess, like Leonard Bolton before classic movies, <laughs> <laughs> that was great, yeah, like hi, I'm, I'm Leonard Bolton. Don't be like Donald and shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> like, I actually have like 
Disney shorts where Leonard Maltzen shows. I was like, "Hi, I'm Leonard Maltzen," yeah. and it's like it's like the precursor to Donald's golf game. Yeah, and I was like, I made a joke on Twitter where I took a screenshot of that. It was like. I just try and watch some Disney cartoons <laughs> to take my mind off things, and then it throws this at me and like Donald's golf game, and like Donald's angry. <laughs> yeah, it's um yeah. Before I was watching Mystery of Chess Boxing, like one of the members from Wu Tang Clan, come come and watch one. Um, but he's like, uh, you better to get hit with the kung fu grip. And, like he was doing this like little rap before the movie started. <laughs> it was like cool, but it's like. It's, it's so shameless <laughs> the way they just shoot on themselves. In. I mean, it's a classic Kung Fu movie, and then. Okay. Come on. I'm so close to the end, I can feel it. It's just around this corner, I think. Yeah. Oh. You, you got hit by the Kung Fu Grip, I think. Got Kung Fu Grip on this controller. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. That, that's one sweaty controller. Oh, man. I can't wait to reformat my cache and get all new graphics for the channel. Yeah. Uh... You're never gonna. <laughs> it's just the way they make you sit in it after mm. you. Yeah, it's just it just. Wait, can you get back to the to the stone? No, no. I think it's just a lost cause. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's possible. All that effort you spend farming these lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the worst level. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Mm. So much rage. <laughs> I can just... So much rage just building. Oh. Like the lighting has changed. Night has come. <laughs> the <laughs> <bosses> <laughs> has happened. And it's just it's ruthless. Yeah. Oh, you can get it. Oh. So close. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Maybe maybe we gotta send Jonathan to like a Tai Chi class or something after this. So he's, much he's, he's getting a bit tense. Yeah, he's getting a bit tense. He needs to release a bit. Oh shit! I Wait, you, about you, that. you can get up to it. Oh. I completely forgot about that <laughs> section. Now that I got to this next one. I'm cracking. I'm cracking. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. See? No! It's just the insult to injury. So usually on the previous episodes, we would kind of just rant over whatever Jonathan was doing, but I think it's gone to the point where, like, Jonathan's... Jonathan's rage is way more interesting than anything we could talk about. <laughs> well, this is what we could have been talking about while you guys were just rambling about yeah. anything that wasn't the game. Yeah. Are you, are you going to be able to get over this? I'm waiting for the bird to come back. I don't think he comes back, does he? I hope so. <laughs> oh, he, yeah. he does. It. There you go. Boing. Fuck's sake! <laughs> oh. You're like Russell Crane. You're like Russell Crowe's band at the moment. Thirty old foot of grunt. I. I don't, what is why? Because you're I've grunting never, a lot. I've never actually. I didn't know Russell uh, Russell Crowe had a band. I don't see the need for that reference. Why are you going to bring that into my house? 
Because it's both grunting and mediocre. This <laughs> <laughs> is the theme of our podcast. It's coming down the wire. Yeah, it's getting close. I mean, you got to pick up your game soon. You've got to pick up my game. I mean, you're, clo- you're getting pretty close, so... <laughs> 20 <laughs> lives make it happen or you have to go back to the beginning I know what has <laughs> get up get up get up alright I think I think we need to pump him up Jack and we need to give him some music no please like I've done this before right and I think it helped personally <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> It's strong to take you on. It's strong to take on anyone. It's in our nature to kill ourselves. That's better. That's more. See what? That's one of the most fascinating things about new metal is the fact that it became incredibly mainstream. Like, it wasn't just, how, like... How did it take over? I know, I know. Was it marketing? I don't like, understand. Like, it wasn't just, like, edgy teenagers who, was... like, hated their parents listening to new metal. Like, it managed to become the main soundtrack to, a, like, a credibly famous action movie with Jet Li. Like, can you imagine Jet Li, like, a 40-year-old Asian guy, listening to... You know what I mean? Like, listening to fucking uh, Cut Disturbed. Cut my life into pieces. Yeah. <laughs> this is my last resort. This, yeah, Jet Li's this, like, spiritual Buddhist guy. Which he is. It's not, I'm not just stereotyping. Like, he actually is. And he's, like, really into anthropology and all this stuff. Not anthropology. He's, like, an activist and all, all this shit. And he's in this movie where the soundtrack is made by Disturbed. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's so funny to me. I, just, I thought it was Papa Roach. No, it no, was uh, both. There's steps in that. There's a part where um, where uh, Jet Li strapped into that thing, and his girlfriend like had to help him out, and right. it, there's like a huge explosion, and then it goes, Wah! and then the oh, explosion goes, yeah, right. <laughs> and so and the thirty year old guy thought that was cool. Like it wasn't just some like you know teenager with baggy clothes and like one of those backwards hats. I'm sorry, I, I just lost my focus because I was just trying to like. Remember, you were dying even when I wasn't talking about the stuff, so don't blame Fuck. it on me, all right? <laughs> I think that's gonna be that needs to be like a thesis. Someone needs to do an academic study on how new metal became popular. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, get up. Your mother, get up. <laughs> I want to get down with the sickness. <laughs> Madness is the gift that has been given to me. Need some Enya and John Claude. Sail away, sail away. Doing some stretches <laughs> between two trucks. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love Enya when I was a kid. I have the very best of Enya on CD. I don't know why, but for some reason that song Sail Away, I, I was like a huge fan of it when I was like seven or something. I used to run around the I used to run around the room like singing the lyrics. I don't know why, for some reason you... New Age music just really spoke to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you basic is what like, you throwing shade at me? I'm Calling me shade. basic? I'm throwing shade. Uh, as far as seven year old tastes, I think Enya's pretty good for a seven year old. Yeah. I was into Achy Breaky Heart back then. I, that, uh, mine was uh, Enya and the Bee Gees. I like the Bee Gees. I, I always loved the Bee Gees. Yeah. And my parents hate them. They hate the really? Bee Gees. My mom's so a much. fan. That's why I think I like them because my mom got me them. My mom and dad hate the Bee Gees so much. I mean, yeah, they're not great. <laughs> In retrospect, they're not great. <laughs> they can be good. It's been, like they've got a couple of good tracks, but then there's. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh! I'm so, I'm so close to the breaking point. I can't feel. You're, you're about to break. Everything is so to move. 
I think you're just missing the dyed hair now. <laughs> Jonathan actually dyed his hair blue at one point. Really? Do we have to talk about that? Wait, where was this? I never saw I never It was in Balmain before you knew him. Oh, all right. Well, I remember when Jacob got his hair cut like Paul Mc uh, John Lennon, yeah. Paul McCartney, actually. It wasn't Paul McCartney, it was John Lennon haircut. I remember that. Was, was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I'm, yeah, actually, there's a photo of you with it. It looks, it's like, it looks ridiculous. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Of all the haircuts you had. I mean, it grew out okay after a while, but like when you first had I it. I remember the Beatlemania haircut. It was terrible. It was it was bad. It was a mistake. <laughs> Makes me look like, like that serial shooter guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you were Asian, you could have pulled it off. Yeah, I think so. But it just didn't. It just wasn't working for if you. You had that like. And there was also that point when Jacob shaved his head. I remember that. That was for charity. Yeah, no, I was, that was fine. But it was funny because everyone kept up. Kept, everyone kept coming up to you and patting your head. At least that's what I remember. I felt like Krillin for a month. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> it's all coming all these memories. Anguish of not beating this level. <laughs> oh fuck's sake! <laughs> should we, uh, while we while we are talking about Jacob's past shenanigans, should we talk about the fact that you made a video, like a twenty minute video, saying was it twenty minutes or ten minutes? I can't remember. Twenty minutes. It's too long. It's too long. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it> <laughs> of you, you guys saying just saying vanilla ice into a camera in like pitch black darkness. <laughs> Yeah, and then you got you started to get tired, so you kept saying vanilla ice, vanilla ice, vanilla ice, and then you took like a really deep breath, like vanilla ice. <laughs> it looks like something you'd find on the dark web. And yeah, exactly. Before That's the you... dark web was a thing. Yeah, before it got taken over by like Sam Harris and uh, John Peterson. <laughs> the intellectual dark web is barely the dark web. There's nothing dark about it. It's just. <laughs> It's, it's funny because like when you think yeah you just accept die. it because when you think of it it's like a bunch of like you know subversive uh thinkers talking about like the most controversial act you know controversial topics in society when really the intellectual jock wave is just a bunch of like 40 year old white guys talking about like feminism <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! So close. So close. I'm so close to having to start again. And I can't handle that. <laughs> no. Should we just... If you, if you die, should we just give up on this? I really do want that. Oh my god. Or, or we started something that we, we, like, we have to finish. I mean, I'd like to finish it, but... I don't know if I've got to hit me. Better not fuck it up. Alright, alright, all right. let's... Should I start singing Lincoln Park? Do not start with me. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I think, I think, I think Jonathan's about to pass out in anger. I don't think I can make it. This is where I got to last time. This is this is the the uh, the section that broke me. Oh. oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, last life. Here, here it goes. <laughs> I, I really want to sing right now. <laughs> I will hit you. <laughs> that makes me want to sing even more. <laughs> I don't care if it's for the internet. <laughs> for our friendship. <laughs> Do not sing it with it. <laughs> no, okay, I want to sing, I want to sing. <sighs> Uh, 
I think that's enough. I think that's the end of our session for today. It's been yeah. uh, it's, mm. hopefully it's been entertaining viewing. Yeah, I give up. I think I, give up. I think Jonathan is broken. I think, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 I, think I think I don't think he can do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you literally died a hundred times. Oh, no, I think it's. I think that's it. I think. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to, to smash All that right, like button, boy. Smash that like button. <laughs> tune in next week. <laughs> tune in next week. All right, great episode. In fact, actually, yeah, right. <laughs>